Do you want to measure how much power is left in your lithium battery? Unlike lead acid batteries, voltage is not a good indicator of state of charge. In this video, I will show you how to wire and program a shunt so you know how much energy is left in your battery. This is what comes in the box. This is the shunt. It's rated for 350 amps. Then we have the cable for the display and then we have the display. You will also need to make yourself a small wire to provide 12 volts DC to the shunt. This is an M8 ring terminal to fit on the battery's main positive. Then we have a 1 amp fuse and a small ferrule. The wire is 0.5 mm square or 22 gauge. It has to be this small because it needs to fit in the small connectors here. I will install everything on the wooden board and I will explain how everything works. Now we have installed the shunt. This wire is the 12 volts coming from the battery. This is the wire going to the display. And here we connect the main battery negative or B minus. The P minus will be your loads. Do not connect anything before the P minus. Otherwise, the load will be inaccurately displayed. In other words, this will become the main battery negative. When you first connect the shunt, the readings won't be accurate. That's why you have to program the shunt and tell what kind of battery you're using. So, we will navigate to the amp hour settings. Long press the set button. And then you can set how many amp hours your battery is. Since our battery is 100 amp hours, we will set 100 amp hours. Let's go back to the voltage. And now we have to charge the battery to 100%. Then we will come back and say that the battery is 100% charged. That way the shunt has a reference at how many energy is going in and out of the battery. We now have charged the battery to 100%. Let's now tell the shunt the battery is 100% charged. When the voltage shows 5 volts, then you just have to disconnect this connector and plug it in again. This will reset the monitor. We go into the percentage tab and we long press for 3 seconds to set it to 100%. There you go. Now the monitor knows the battery is at 100%. First we have the voltage of the battery. Then we have the amp draw of the battery with the total amp hours still left in the battery and the percentage of the battery. This 0.6 amps is the idle power consumption of the inverter. Let me now start up a load. We can see the current now increased to 4.2 amps. And here we can see a minus sign that means the battery is draining. If the battery is getting charged through solar or shore power, here will be a plus sign. You can mount the battery monitor against your wall. First you drill a hole of 55 millimeters or two and a half inches and then press this against the back and your wall will be in between here. A shunt is a small resistor that measures the voltage drop across its two ends. It also monitors the battery's voltage, which you will connect using a small wire. The shunt uses this information to calculate the current, and by multiplying it by the time, it figures out the amp hours. For example, if the shunt has a resistance of 0.001 ohms and a voltage drop of 0.05 volts, 
you can calculate the current using Ohm's law. It equals 50 amps. The shunt then tracks how long this load is being drawn, giving you an accurate measurement of the amp hours going in and out of the battery. However, make sure to use a shunt that measures current in both directions, like the one I've shown in the video, because some shunts only measure in one direction, which won't give you the full picture. If you have any questions or tips to share, leave them in the comments. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.